provides a reconfigurable but also mobile simulation system. So the regiment uh, these soldiers come from have uh, very high fidelity but fixed installations in their barracks that they use for regular training. But when they're deployed to the likes of, say, Est Estonia or on shorter deployments, they don't have training kit they can take with them. So the idea of this is that the kit fits into the Pelican cases that you can see, just folds down. We attach um, a realistic hand control and then we create the fidelity of the vehicle that we want to simulate using the VR headsets. Uh, this means that they can maintain skills and drills as a crew uh, on a whole range of vehicles. Back here we've got the commander. The commander has obviously got a hand control and he can take control of the turret. He's also got a sight that he can use to pan panoramically to give him a view of what's going out on outside. He's also got a series of vision blocks which allow him uh, 360 vision so he can reverse the vehicle even though the turret may be uh, pointing in a different direction. And if he stands up he will actually simulate the fact that he is going out of the hatch. So as he stands up, he'll be able to see um, what he would see for real. Obviously he works with a gunner. The gunner has a similar hand control and his primary role is to fire the weapon. The commander's role is to identify targets and guide the gunner onto them. The complete um, cycle of loading and firing can be rehearsed. These are a replica of an armoured vehicle hand control. The crew can actually hold on and brace themselves using their controls. They've got um, variable rate thumb trackers. Those thumb trackers together with the safety override. So on the right hand, there's a safety grip. That's got to be pulled in for, in order for the turret systems to operate. Once that's pulled in, the gunner can actually use one of those thumb controls to actually rotate the turret, elevate the gun. Uh, depending on who's got their grips in, determines who's in charge. They change the magnification, they change the, um, whether it's a thermal view or a, a day camera view, it's all changed using those buttons. Laser range finder trigger are all on those hand controls, so they essentially just put their hands on and so they're actually, it's muscle memory. They, rem they know where the buttons are and they just use them, even though the head may be looking in another direction. The beauty is of these, they're just connected using standard USB, uh, the same technology that you use to connect a mouse or a keyboard to your computer. So they've literally got a bracket underneath. It's a five minute job. We can take those hand controls off and replace them with uh, an alternative. These aren't real challenger ones, it doesn't really matter. The hand controls all have the same basic functionality.